So it works like this. As we talk about this vortex of creation, it must be annoying. It just has to be to someone who is really reality based. You go home and you say to your friends, yeah, I don't know. We learned not to face reality. <laughs> That's worrisome. <laughs> and then we were pointed over here at the floor. <laughs> and we are told that there is a vortex of creation that includes everything we want, but we can't see it. <sighs> it was a little like smoke and mirrors. And then we were told that if we would feel for it, because we can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it, if we would feel for it, we would feel better. And that when we feel better, then it would come. <sighs> Hard to accept that, isn't it? But if you will play our silly game just for a little while, what you will discover is that you are vibrational beings first and foremost. And that the vibration of your being has two vantage points. Ah, so good when you get this. Two vantage points. The vantage point of what you're focused upon right now, what you're talking about, what your attitude is, what your mood is, whatever you're focused upon, that's a vantage point. It's you focusing. And then there's the vantage point of the source within you who existed before your birth and who has been expanding ever since you've been here in this physical body becoming the equivalent of every request no matter how big or small you consider it to be all of the days of your experience so here is this vibrational being that is playing off of you playing off of the physical you all day every day all day every day and you can tell by the way you feel how well it's playing if you are having a joyful moment there is no vibrational difference between you and you. You are so in sync. You're in this physical body, but you have set up no vibrational hindrance or resistance. And so you've got full flowing of the wholeness of all that you are flowing through you in this moment. And you're clear minded. You're on point. You're vital and alive. Your mind is clicking. Your body is clicking. The cells of your body are benefiting. You are thinking of things just at the right time. Your timing is exceptionally good. The lyrics to the song you are writing are flowing through you the music is moving through your body in a remarkable way the intelligence that you have been seeking the mass consciousness that surrounds you is now actively available to you and the ideas will flow to you now 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 and even more important than any of that is that your rendezvous point with all aspects of the universe whether it is thought or behavior of others or conversation with others or people in traffic or the way people treat you in the financial world or the the way your waiter treats you everything that you rendezvous with hinges upon your vibrational relationship with you you see so so many people are walking around not even taking anything like that into consideration because it's mumbo jumbo and smoke and mirrors let's not ever talk about vibration let's just talk about manifestation physical humans say let's just monitor it let's just observe what is let's make lists of it let's document it and pigeonhole it and make documentaries about it and statues and monuments about it and let's keep what is alive the manifestation as far as it's gone let's keep it alive in the minds of everyone who who come and we say good luck on that because those new ones coming in have a whole different vibrational mindset because they are up to speed with everything that you've been asking for they're born mp3 ready they are born they are born understanding that they are vibration much more than you who have been focused upon the physical reality for so long so the reason that we explode into your faces in this way with our enthusiasm for you accepting the relationship between you and you is because unless you know that this vibrational version of you and all that you've asked for exists you cannot for a moment begin to understand why you would have any negative emotion a woman said to us one day Abraham my lover left and now I'm sad and we said no you're not and she said, hmm, Abraham, my lover left and now I am sad. 
And we said, no, you're not. She said, Abraham, I thought you were infinite intelligence. I wasn't sad. My lover left and now I'm sad. I'm sad because my lover left. And we said, you are sad because in your relationship with that person, you have created a version of a relationship that really reflects and represents who you are and what you want and what you deserve. And you are using the behavior of some other person and the reality of the current status of your relationship as your excuse to focus in complete opposition with who you are. And that is why you're sad. You're sad. Your emotions are always and only ever about you disallowing who you are. And we know. This person was right in the sense that this is my current reason. This is the current reaction that I'm having to life. But we want to suggest to you that while it is the most normal thing in the world to live in your world and to interact with those around you and to react or respond to what is happening, that if you will decide rather than to be reactive, to be proactive, rather than react to what's happening to let what happened cause you and it will automatically to take the bounce because when you know what you don't want you know what you do want every single time there is this vibrational law that says to the degree that you don't want it there is an equal degree to which you do want it in other words if you sort of don't like that you sort of want something but if you really 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 don't like that then you really 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 want something it is always an equal and proportionate vibrational bounce and if we can convince you today that the larger part Part of you took the bounce became rich became clear became healthy became loved became a lover became clear-minded became responsive to life became valuable to your world if you can hear us when we say that did happen and that every bit of negative emotion that you feel is because you didn't let it happen for you yet then you'll know what your guidance system is telling you then you'll bless negative emotion in the same way that Jerry blesses the bumps along the edge of the road that let him know that Esther's driving off of it. <laughs> well, the bumps don't bother Esther. She sort of thinks of them as a friend, a friend who will respond to her in every moment. Jerry sometimes gets lost back in the back of the bus and Esther's up there all alone, but she's always got her bumps. <laughs> Who will always say, yes, Esther, we are aware of you as you are driving off into the bar pit. You have this guidance that is letting you know where you stand in every moment in relationship to who you have become and those are the words that we really want you to hear to who you have become not to a standard that someone else has set not even to the standard that you held when you made the decision to come because it has evolved much further since you got here to the standard of who you have become and anything less than that will not feel good to you